Now, as you know, I'm a massive fan of the Hue ecosystem. I've got Hue lights all around the house and uh, I really, really like them. Now, the problem is, is when it comes to controlling the lights. Now, if you're in the UK, you probably got one of these, which is a traditional light switch and um, they're great, they do the job. But the problem is, Hue lights need power all the time for them to work properly. If someone comes around your house and just does that, your Hue lights are dead and you can't control them. So they need power on the whole time. But that leaves a problem. You still got this light switch that people believe is a light switch. Now you can get Hue light switches and uh, I've got one of them here. This is the Mark 1 light switch. There is a Mark 2 um, out, but we're sticking with Mark 1 in this video, um, but the process is quite similar. Now you can fix these onto the walls with the self-adhesive pads, or they've got these screw holes and you can just put it next to your light switch. But that looks a bit rubbish really. And now because of the size of them and the shape, you can't actually cover up existing light switches with these because they're just not the right shape. You might not necessarily want to remove your light switch completely. It's still handy to have that. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can change one of these dumb light switches into one of the Hue Smart light switches. And uh, it's pretty easy. I've just turned all the lights off. <laughs> it proves that it's a working switch. So the process we're going to use today is non-invasive. So in theory, you don't need to get an electrician out to do this because you're not really touching anything electrical. But if you're unsure, then it's always recommended to get a professional out. But if you've got a bit of DIY knowledge and a few smarts about you, you should be able to do this pretty successfully on your own. Now, with anything, when you're playing with mains voltage, it's always good to isolate the power so uh, I'm gonna go to the consumer unit and turn off the lighting circuit before we get started. So the lighting circuit is off and um, I'm being lit by studio lights, so uh, that's why you can still see me. Now we can just double check that the power is definitely off. I've got one of these chicken sticks. There is definitely no power. You, now you could get away with not turning the power off, but it's probably advisable to just do it just in case. So what we need for this job is a Hue light switch, a screwdriver, and one of these. This is a light switch adapter, and this basically converts this into somewhere where your Hue switch can sit, and I'll show you how it does that in a minute. So let's get this out of the box and uh, take a little look. So inside the box, we have this frame, which is going to sit over the light switch. And um, we've got some screws and a little handy screwdriver in there. And uh, then we've got some spacers. So the theory is we're going to unscrew these two screws, put this cover on top, screw through the cover, through the light switch and into the back box and then you can clip your hue light onto this. And that's the theory. And um, I've done a couple of these before and it's usually pretty straightforward. Now the only obstacle I've got is the back boxes in this house are quite small, so it can be a bit fiddly for me to get the screws in, but it should, hopefully if your house isn't as old as mine, then you should have an easier job. So uh, I guess what we'll do is uh, get cracking. So I'm going to try and leave the light switch in position on the wall just because it's a bit of a faff if I don't, but that could all go out the window. So currently this is using quite small screws. It goes through the light switch into the back box and it doesn't need to be very long. But in here, 
we have some longer screws because they need to be a tiny bit longer. So look, there's a tiny cute screwdriver. And somewhere down here, we have some slightly longer screws. These go through the face plate, through the light switch and into the back box, like so. Now I'm just gonna get these little washer things. Now, as I say, this is the method of doing it with a uh, Hue version one light switch. It's pretty similar for the Hue version two. You just need a slightly different face plate. And it's a bit hard to see, but this does have a marking on the inside saying top. So uh, you know which way around to have it. So in theory, this is about right. So we'll screw one side. And then we'll screw the other. So as you can see, the light switch hasn't come off at all. So we've not really disturbed the electrical installation in any way. So that is good. So yeah, we just tighten these up. Now you could use a level to make sure this is straight, but I think they're pretty much bob on to my eyes. So as you can see, you've still got a usable light switch. So at any time, if you wanted to, you can access the light switch. So it's not a completely destructive process. The light switch is just hidden away out of view. Well, I'd say that's uh, fixed to the wall. So we've just got to do the final stage now and remove the back plate from the Hue light switch. So you're just left with the switch and this plate, which has got the magnets in. So uh, you can put, pop the plate onto the wall and then you can pop the light switch on there. So uh, let's go and turn the power back on and uh, make sure this is working as expected. So the lights are back on and uh, yeah, it's working. It's really working. So for if any reason you need to get back to the light switch at some point in the future, you can just put your screwdriver in the bottom, pop off the face plate, and there's your light switch ready to access. And obviously if you want to return things back to normal, you can just keep the screws that came with the light switch, take these out and put the original screws back in. Well like that, is a pretty good job i'm really pleased with that so there you go that is a really quick and simple way of changing your normal light switch into a hue light switch um yeah so if you've got any questions or comments please do put them below but thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll be back soon for some more vlogging fun see ya